Penny Bonds Today, starring Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks and Igor Gorin on a special recorded program of the United States Treasury Department. By the way, have you bought any bonds today? Any bonds today? Bonds of freedom, that's what I'm selling. Any bonds today? Scrape up the most you can. Here comes the freedom man asking you to buy a share of freedom today. Any stamps today? We'll be blessed if we all invest in the USA. Here comes the freedom man. Can't make tomorrow's plan. Not unless you buy a share of freedom today. Any bonds today? Well, no, it's defense stamps that Daddy Hanley Stafford wants Fanny Bryce in her role of baby snooks to buy. Daddy's giving her her first lesson in thrift. Here they are in a sketch written by Phil Rapp. All right, Snooks, here's the post office. Have you got your money ready? Yes, Daddy. Where is it? I got it in my shoe. In your shoe? No wonder you've been hobbling along like a stilt walker. When? All the way over here. Your left foot's four inches higher than your right foot. My money Take in... off that left shoe. My money's in the other shoe, Daddy. Well, why is your left shoe like that? That's where I got my candy. Good heavens. You're not going to eat that stuff after walking on it, are you? Why? Oh, take off both your shoes and let's empty them out. Come in. Well, no, hold on, run, Daddy. I'll sit down here. Now, take off those shoes. The socks, too? No, just the shoes. Well, how will I get my chewing gum? Snooks, you didn't put chewing gum in your socks. Didn't I? Oh. Look at that mess. The money's all in pennies, too. Chewing gum, chocolates, and a piece of apple. Where's my lollipop? Here it is. Whatever possessed you to conceal all this stuff in your shoes? I was afraid we'd be held up. Oh, what a ridiculous notion. Why should you be held up? Well, you was held up last night when you came back from the lodge. Who told you that? Mommy did. She said two men held you up all the way home. Now, that's a malicious slander. I walk every bit of the way myself. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Now, don't smirk. It's enough I have to suffer those indignities from your mother without you repeating them. I didn't tell nobody. Well, make sure you don't. Why? Because a false rumor will spread that I came home inebriated. And you know I'm a man of regular habits. Is that one of your regular habits, Daddy? <laughs> no. And I forbid you ever to mention the incident again. Why? Don't be aggravating, Snooks. I brought you to this post office to teach you the virtue of thrift, and you're already trying my patience. Is this all the money you had? Thirty cents? No. Oh, where's the rest of it? They sewed it on the back of my pants. Now, what for? You said to do it, Daddy. I told you to sew money on your pants? Yeah. You said I should always have a little money in the back of me. Oh, that's a wonderful interpretation. Take off your... Oh, no, no, you can't do it. Why? Because it doesn't look nice to come to a post office and remove your clothes. Maybe you can go in the mail room. And they got a female room? I'm talking about the room where they keep the letters. Can we read the letters, Daddy? Of course not. Why? Because it's against the law to open letters that don't belong to you. They can put a person in jail for reading other people's mail. Mommy opens all your letters. Yeah, I know it. But it's different with a man and wife. Can we put her in jail? No. Why? Don't worry, I'm working on it. <laughs> now put your shoes and stockings on. I want to go barefoot. Snooks? I want to go barefoot. Oh, stop making me sick. Or I'll tell you hide. I want to play hide and seek. Now, that's enough. Put your shoes on, quick. On. <laughs> now, the other one. Now, come on. We're going to invest this 30 cents of yours. Now, come on, Snooks. What's this picture on the wall, Daddy? Oh, it's a reward poster put there by the Federal Bureau to aid in the search for mail bandits. What does it say? It says murderer wanted. Oh, let's see. Are you going to ask for the job? <laughs> it's not a job. Yeah. Come on. Well, here's the window I want. Give me your 30 cents. Why? To buy defense stamps. 
What's defense stamps? They're little tokens issued at various prices from ten cents to five dollars. Mm-hmm. And when you get enough of them, you can get a defense bond. What for? What for? Mm. To help Uncle Sam, of course. Why don't we help Uncle Louie? <laughs> this is not a real uncle. Mm. Uncle Sam is the guiding spirit of America. You've seen those pictures of that colorful old man with the beard, haven't you? Santa Claus? <laughs> not Santa Claus. Uncle Sam. Who's he? I told you. He's the patriotic symbol of this country. Just like John Bull is the symbol of Great Britain. We've had him with us since America was founded. John Bull? No, Uncle Sam. He's always portrayed as a sort of Yankee character, and he wears stars and stripes. Has he got a beard? Yes. Does he wear a high hat? That's it. And he gets his name from the initials U.S. Who does? Uncle Sam. <laughs> Who is he? The man I'm telling you about. He represents our government and everything that's American. And his name is Uncle Sam. Does he know Ann Sophie? <laughs> no. Why? I don't know. The important thing is he wants your 30 cents. Who does? Uncle Sam! <laughs> How are you yelling about? I ain't going to give him my money. Now, look. It's for your own benefit, Snooks. If you buy defense stamps for that 30 cents, you'll always have it. I got it now, ain't I? <laughs> Yes, but you might spend it. If you buy stamps, Uncle Sam will get the money and return it to you. Will he spend it? Certainly. No, he won't. Why not? Because he ain't going to get it. So, this is not only a saving proposition. Every real American should buy these defense stamps and bonds, apart from the interest involved. What's interest, Daddy? Well, it's a premium paid for the use of the money, mm-hmm. usually reckoned as a percentage, mm-hmm. like interest at 5% per annum of $5,000. That means you get back $250 at the end of a year. $250? That's right. How can they afford it for 30 cents? <laughs> oh, give me that money. <laughs> now keep quiet. Uh, uh, give me three 10 cent defense stamps, please. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Fine, <laughs> oh, Snooks. Here are your stamps. I'm glad I sold the other money in my pants. <laughs> Now, listen to me. You've just done a very noble thing, Snooks. You're too young to understand now, but America today is facing a grave emergency. The president has called upon the financial aid of the entire nation. And you want to help, don't you? Now. Listen, the few cents you've exchanged for those stamps will be put to work instantly. Yeah. Defense workers are slaving night and day at different projects, helping to make an impregnable fortress of this country, to keep our strength so that we may help others. Battleships will be built. Airplanes will roll into production. Tanks, guns, and even food for the army will be bought. Oh, well, my cents. <laughs> Don't you think it doesn't help? Now, just imagine if every person in America did the same thing. Snooks, strange as this may sound, your 30 cents may save half of the world. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Turn me over, Daddy. I'm not going to spank you. I know. I want to get the rest of the money and save the other half of the world. Well, Baby Snooks has a great idea there. And our next guest agrees with her. A brilliant young artist noted for his operatic and concert successes here and abroad. His name is familiar to all, Igor Gorin. He's going to sing for you a song born from his own great love for America. But he wants to tell you about it himself. I present to you... Igor Gorin. Ladies and gentlemen, when I first came to this country six years ago, I applied immediately for my citizenship papers to achieve the great dream of my life, the right to say, I am an American. Finally, the day came for me to stand before a judge and recite the creed of faith and the principles of our nation, the pledge to the flag. Among those present in the courtroom, was the well-known composer Albert Heimelot. He was so moved by the solemnity of the occasion that he was inspired to set the Pledge of Allegiance to music, to let the world know how it fell to witness the making of an American. Tonight, I should like to sing the song born of this inspiration, the Pledge to the Flag.
and justice for all. That's the prime principle of every American. Today we are fighting for that principle. Adolf Hitler has said, two worlds are in conflict and one must break asunder. Americans, I ask you, which world shall break? Ours or Hitler's? Pour out your dollars in reply. Pour them out in a steady, never-ending stream that fills the war chest of our nation and keeps it flowing over. Put every dollar you can into defense bonds, sold by any bank, post office, or savings and loan association. Put every possible dime into defense stamps, sold by retail merchants, and even by newspaper carrier boys. Buy a bond now and every payday hereafter. Make your regular bond buying answer Adolf Hitler's boast. Have you bought any bonds today? Any bonds today? Bonds of freedom, that's what I'm selling. Any bonds today? Scrape up the most you can. Here comes the freedom man asking you to buy a share of freedom today. Any stamps today? We'll be blessed if we all invest in the USA. Here comes the freedom man. Can't make tomorrow's plan. Not unless you buy a share of freedom today. You've been listening to Any Bonds Today, a recorded program of the United States Treasury Department for Defense Bonds and Stamps. Stars of this program were Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks, Hanley Stafford as Daddy, Igor Gorin, and Barry Wood. This is Larry Elliott speaking for the Treasury Department.